Sometimes I think, of course, it was very secret. It must have been. Otherwise, the Germans would have bombed us. And they didn't. One just sort of got on with it, as everybody was getting on with the war. In 1942, Pamela Rose, a 24-year-old aspiring young actress, had a difficult decision to make. Take up a role in her first West End play, or play her part at Bletchley Park. The superiors interviewing her at the Codebreakers Centre had choice words for her. And he said, well, the stage can wait and the war can't. And so uh, the stage waited. But Bletchley would be the biggest role she would undertake. She started as a linguist before working in indexing in the naval section. Lots of girls going through, who could talk German, going through the signals and uh, picking out, say, the name of a ship or something and writing it down a card. And we had boxes and boxes of cards. You can imagine that could be quite exciting or quite dull. The code-breaking work at Bletchley is thought to have shortened the war by three years. But although it's often remembered as a place dominated by men, by the end of the war, three quarters of the workforce were made up of women. When you look at an organisation like Bletchley Park, where it was men at the top, to ignore or fail to write about and acknowledge the role of women is to do a disservice to history, because it could not have been this industrial scale 24-7 operation without the vast majority of its workforce who were young women. It wasn't all work at Bletchley though. Pamela said she made some lifelong friends and met her husband there too. It was just a fascinating incident among lots of fascinating incidents in life, you know. And the feeling in the country was that we were a team really. An inspiring woman. Sangeeta Kandola, 5 News.